Well guys, it finally happened. The Chanel 2024 price increase occurred last night. Let's see what the damage was. So the price did increase. This was rumored in January. A lot of people said that their essays confirmed it and then the date came and went for the supposed price increase and nothing happened. And then recently, again, we were hearing that an increase was gonna come and the date was supposedly March 27th, but last night, March 25th, the prices did go up on the Chanel website. I shared it in a community post, but let's go in more depth and see what the actual price difference was. I think it was less than what was expected. Let's talk about the classic flaps. So the small classic flap was retailing for 9,600 US dollars. It's now $10,400. So that was an $800 price increase. It wasn't the usual 14, 15% price increase that we have been seeing in more recent increases. So I think that's why people were expecting a higher increase. I was thinking like that this bag was going to be $11,000 so not quite there yet. Now the medium classic flap was retailing for $10,200. It's now retailing for $10,800. So a $600 price increase. That's an even smaller percentage than the small. The small is the most popular size right now, I think. So I think that's why it had the largest price increase between the two of these. The Jumbo saw a little over a 6% increase. It went from $11,000 to $11,700. If you're a Jumbo fan, this is the one that I really recommend looking for in the pre-loved market. Sometimes you can find really great prices on jumbos that are pre-loved in excellent condition. Now the one that did go over $12,000 is the Maxi. That was retailing for $11,500. It's now $12,300. So a 7% increase there and just under the percent increase that the small classic flap had. The mini square went up $300. It went from $4,700 to $5,000. Then the mini classic rectangle had a $300 increase as well. It went from $4,900 to $5,200. The wallet on chain did make it unscathed. The classic version was $3,350 and it stayed $3,350. For those 22 fans, that is a bag that also came through the price increase unscathed. All of the sizes remained the same. There was no change. The Chanel 19, it did have a small increase for the medium size of $200. So it went from $6,400 to $6,600. So again, a small price increase there, but not as big as we've experienced in previous years. The large 19 went up $500 from $6,800 to $7,300. The maxi size also went up by $400 from $7,500 to $7,900. And then the reissues had the same price increases as the classic flaps, which is usually what happens. Also, did you guys notice on the website, if you took a look at it yet, they are calling the classic flap the 11 point 12 bag this is another name for the bag and it is a reference to the original reference number of this bag now for the chanel boys Again, another price increase. They all were increased by $300. So the small was $6,100. Now it's $6,400. The medium was $6,600. It's now $6,900. The large was $7,000. And it's now $7,300. The Trendy CC also experienced a price increase. This went from $6,900 to $7,100 in the small size. The very popular Nano Kelly had a significant price increase. This was retailing for four thousand U.S. dollars. It's now retailing for four thousand nine hundred U.S. dollars in Canada. It's six thousand two hundred and fifty. In the European Union, it's four thousand six hundred euros, and in the U.K. 3,950 pounds. Now for the mini top handle, I did look for this bag online. They only have the tweed version that I can see and it's retailing for $5,300. Now the leather ones usually do retail for a little more than the tweed versions. So I would expect this bag to be more than that. I'll look for the price and if I find it, I'll put it at the bottom of the screen here. Um, but I really hate how Chanel doesn't always share all of their bags. Uh, on their website. So it kind of makes this a little bit difficult to find all the prices. But yeah, I'm going to look for that. Hopefully I can find it. If you know the price though, and you want to drop it in the comments below, 
feel free to do so. Also, Purse Pop has done a really great article on the price increase, and they've made some really great tables in that article showing the price changes for the bags in the US, Canada, the EU, and I believe the UK as well. So if you're located in any of those regions and you want to see what the price increase is in your area, I'll link that down below. I know I probably put the prices already as well, but if you want to take another look and see for yourself, again, I'll link that article down below. If you like this video, meaning you like the content on my channel and the video itself and me bringing you news like this, please consider giving it a thumbs up and not a thumbs down because if it was up to me, I wouldn't have done the price increase. So blame Chanel, give Chanel the thumbs down. And again, if you like this video and you like my content, please consider subscribing to my channel. Click the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my videos and any of the news that I share in the community tab. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.